Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'll show you how to make this exact animation in Blender. It's going to be a fairly simple tutorial, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by switching to Cycle Render for better shading and then click X to delete the default cube. Then click Shift A and then Path and click number 1 to go to the front view. Then click R, Y, then 90. And then click R once again to rotate it a little bit to the side. And then let's go into edit mode to edit the path. Select the lower vertice and click E to extrude. And now we're going to make the shape of the tube that you saw in the beginning of the tutorial. And editing the path is not very difficult as you can see. Now if you get out of the front view, you probably have to extrude it only on the X and Z axis. So click E, then Shift Y to extrude it only on the X and Z axis. Which is important if you want the same shape as I have in this tutorial. So uh, left click to confirm, then click E once again and Shift Y. And that way you will only extrude on the X and Z axis. So let's make one last extrusion before we go to the next step of the tutorial. Okay, so now it's time to go back to object mode and give the path some volume. So uh, click Shift A and add a circle. And then select the path and go into the path settings. And then for bevel object, select the circle and then select the circle and click S to scale down the circle so that the path becomes thinner. And as you can see, using this circle, we converted the path into a three dimensional object. And now it's time to move the circle to another layer. So we'll select the circle, then click M to move it to another layer. Then we need to select the path and click Alt C to convert it into a mesh. And to this mesh object, we're going to add two modifiers. And the first one will be the solidify modifier to give the object some thickness. And I would recommend adding a negative value because if it's a positive, it will deform the object. So maybe set it to minus 0 0.04. And then let's add edge splits as well for uh, flat edges. And then click apply and apply. And now it's finally time to get into the most interesting part of the tutorial, which is the fluid simulation. So uh, let's get into the fluid physics for the object. Select fluid and then change it to obstacle. And then change from volume to shell. And then we can add the inflow object to so click shift A and add a sphere which will be where the uh, fluid flows in and then add a subdivision surface modifier and click smooth shading and then click S to scale it down then click set for wireframe and then click G to grab the sphere and then before we go to the next step make sure that the sphere is inside the tube then click fluid and then inflow and then change it to minus 0.5 the last object in the simulation is the uh, domain, so click Shift A and add a cube. Then change the view to wire, so we can actually see through it. Then click number 1 for a front view, click S to scale, then G, then X to grab it on the X axis, then G S, then X to scale it on the X axis. Then go into the physics and add the fluid simulation, and then domain. And for the resolution, I would probably set it to 200 if you have a normal computer, but I have a gaming computer, so I would probably set it to around 280 if you have a quick computer. And then set it to final, and then go into the fluid boundaries, and set it to 1 in the subdivisions. And then for generate, set it to 0.3. Now we're going to bake the animation, but it's probably going to take around maybe 20 to 30 minutes, so uh, be patient. So click bake. And I'm speeding up this part because it takes some time to bake it. And this is what it looks like when it's done. If you go back on the timeline, you will see what the animation looks like. And I think it looks great. So let's save before we continue with the tutorial. Okay, so let's add some lighting to the scene. Select the lamp first. Then go into the lamp settings, change it into a sun, change the size to 1. Then click Use Nodes and change the strength to about 7. Click G to grab it, then click R to rotate the sun. Then let's select the tube. Then go into Materials, add a new material. 
then change the material to a gloss and then go into rendered view to see what it looks like and you can also use the GPU if you have one to uh, render but if you don't have one that's okay you can still use the CPU it's just going to be a bit slower and let's add a material for the fluid as well change it to gloss and change the IOR value to 0.33 and now let's add a floor to the scene so left click below the object and I click shift A and add a plane click S to scale it up and I click G then set to grab it on the set axis and uh, let's add a material so uh, new and then add a gloss material then change the roughness to about 0.1 and this is what it looks like in render view and let's make the material a little bit darker as you probably noticed the fluids volume is a bit too large so let's uh, select it and then go into the modifiers and we're going to add a smooth modifier which will decrease the volume of the fluid so uh, add a smooth modifier change the factor to 2 and then the repeat to 5 and as you can see it fits better inside the tube let's add another modifier which is the subdivision surface modifier which will increase the poly count of the fluid simulation now when it comes to the materials especially for the fluid it's completely up to you I'm going to set it to a kind of a reddish color but you can obviously add whatever color you want and if the scene looks a little bit too dark for you you can also change the strength of the uh, lamp or the sun to make the scene brighter but uh, when it comes to the colors and the uh, lighting in the scene that's completely up to you and I'm also going to show you how to add a background image so that the render looks a little bit better by increasing the brightness of the color of the tube you can also make the tube a bit more transparent and when it comes to the world settings you can either have a color as the background like we do now and make it darker or brighter or you can add a background image to the scene which I think looks a lot better so add an environment texture then open the picture that you will find in the link below which is free you don't have to do this you can just keep the normal color background as well if you want to so let's select the sphere and then make sure it's not visible either in the render or the viewport okay so let's set up the camera so click numpad 0 to see through the camera and click shift F to use the fly cam and you can move around with W, A, S and D just like in a video game and set the position you want for the camera and then left click to confirm and I think I want to change the color a bit for the fluid so right click to select it and let's go into the materials and I think I want to make the redness a little bit stronger but uh, what color you want is up to you as I said and uh, I think everything looks okay so let's go into the render settings increase the resolution quality to 100% then change the sampling to 250 but I would actually recommend setting it to up to 500 then change the performance if you have a GPU card to 500 if not just keep it at 64 and you might also want to turn on denoising but I would recommend just using a high sampling value if you want the best result okay so I think the render looks okay but I might want to change the color of the fluid and now you can make as many changes as you want before you make the final render so uh, maybe change the redness a bit for the material even brighter and then we can go into the render settings and for the output you need to make a new folder for your render so just make a new folder wherever you want on the computer then select the folder and then give it a name I'm just going to call it toot and uh, everything seems to look okay so uh, maybe set the last frame to around 210 so end frame set it to 210 and adding animated seed might also be useful for a better render so let's click animation and that's it for this tutorial I post new tutorials every single week so make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching